The ongoing drought in the west is absolutely devastating. Here in San Diego, we're five inches behind in rainfall totals, and that means our coastal chaparral, it's as dry as a bone. And according to one expert, that means we're going to see larger and more dangerous fire tornadoes. We're watching a spectacular fire tornado down there at, at the fire, right on the fire line. The fire tornado, or fire nado, got spinning so fast, it got up to 140 mile an hour spinning. Dr. Pat Abbott is referring to the car fire near Redding back in 2018. That it would go over some areas without even causing a fire. So it literally was a spinning vortex of air with fire in it. These winds were so powerful, they blew over steel towers and lifted a roof off a home, killing three inside. And as the fires grow, so does the heat that causes fire nados. When the heat starts rising, then air is drawn in to fill that gap. And as it comes in, it can, the shears, shearing is taking place within there, and that'll get the spin of the fire tornado, the fire tornado, just like you get in a cloud. This is what Dr. Pat Abbott is talking about. As you get wildfire burning in the chaparral, the air at the surface starts to rise. And as it's rising, it's pulling air in from all different directions. And that's what we call shear. That starts to spin the air mass. And as it spins, it pulls more and more air in, superheating the air at the surface and spinning and spinning. And as it goes up into the upper parts of the atmosphere, that's when you get a fire nado. And as you have more heat released in bigger fires, that means you're gonna get more shear within them, more fire nados forming. And then you have the problem of it's not just the fire, but the spinning air. Yeah, that's an actual tornado. That spinning air can be measured the same way tornadoes are. Back to the car fire. A fire nado achieved rotating wind speeds of 140 miles an hour, which is equivalent to an EF3 tornado on the Fujita scale. Which complicates battling wildfires for firefighters on the ground. What makes fire nados so dangerous is they can transport embers from the fire miles away, which is exactly what happened to Pat Abbott and had the police telling him he needed to evacuate. He says, be ready to go if it happens to you.